Yo wagu and people shut up boy pandi sin once again. Eh vile liwa promise juzi nikawaambia nitaanza kuwaletea kitu muo fire inaitwa dimba na doba tunachambua. Mambo ya dimba na doba vile inafaa. All right? Inakuwa amazing. Sasa leo nimekaa hivi chini nikajiambia nani inaweza muongelea mwenye ni relevant ikagusa watu. Unajua kwa life unaambiwaga kama watu wanaongea vitu mbaya kukuhusu. Ule jamani mtiaji, asaidiangi watu, afanyangi, afanyangi ile. It means there is something good you are doing about yourself. Na kama kuna mtu najua he does something good about himself in terms of football, and it was Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Eh. Yeah. Lakini Zlatan hakuzaliwa kwa vile yuko sasa hivi. Ni nili mchenja kakuwa manga vile anakuaga. Ni background yake, nini hiyo ilimfanya ili akachange? Watu wakaanza kumuona yeye ni mtu afai kuchezewa. Now kwa wale wajui Zlatan kwao ni Sweden lakini originally kwao ni Bosnia. Budake alikuwa refugee, aliyepa Bosnia juu ya war, aka, aka Sweden kama immigrant. Na sasa juu yako na do akaenda ghetto. Huko Sweden kuna ghetto itakuwa Rosengard. Hiyo ghetto yani hapa Kenya kuna ghetto kama hiyo. It is among the most feared ghettos in the world. Huko Rosengard. Hadi kina Zlatan wa kigrow hiyo area anasema anga mabeste zao wangi kama kuwa visit ni yao wangeenda kuvisit mabeste zao wakitoka kucheza game wakikuja wakifika hapo mabeste wanaanza ku disappear disappear au wanaingia Rosengard peke yao that is how fierce hiyo ghetto ilikuwa but still kumbuka Zlatan nimekuambia budaki yake alikuwa na Bosnia pia madhaki yake hata kuwa Swedish so already watu wanamuona na kama mtu mtofauti aongei kama hao afanye nini so wasi walikuwa na yani tuseme tu it was racism of sorts watu walikuwa na wanamdhara usana na wewe you are not and equal among stars. So naye akajua ina ngori. Mimi ndo mnanifanyia hivyo, mtandambua. Hasa akaanza kuwa manga. Akaamua nyinyi nitawa control. Siku moja wako zoezi ndio ujui ilikuwa mbaya, wanacheza unapiga zoezi wakiwa vijana wadogo. Kijana akamuingia. Hii akashika kijana watu akamkula edi. Wewe unaingia nani hivyo wewe? Mtaweka heshima hapa. Unajua the following day, muda huo kijana alikuja kwa team amekuja mpaka sasa watu wana sign referendum ya kufukuza Zlatan. Watu hiyo wamepatiwa vitabu shikeni please sign this contract ya kusema i team ifukuze huyu Zlatan because hawezi na tumtaki huku he has to go back wherever he came from. Anyway, sasa siku moja baada ya Zlatan anasema akicheza bola kwa mtu yako akuwa pro. Nataka uone concept ya kupewa chance na unaichukua na kimbia nayo. Useme ujui kitu. Zlatan wakicheza bola at around 17 years alikuwa anaonaga yeye ndiyo wako chini kabisa kwa timu. Among timu kipango hivi atakuwa namba last. Wana alikuwa pendwi. So anaona ball, mimi nikubali. Siku moja wakiwa zoezi na youth team yao wakicheza, coach wa senior team akaka kama saa kwa Malmo. Eh Malmo sadi timu ya Sweden anacheza ligi ya Sweden. Akiwa huko bado anachezea youth team. Coach wa timu akaka kama senior team. Akawaangalia wakicheza, akamuita akamwambia wewe nataka watuonane after after zoezi. Zlatan na yeye anajuaga every day akiitwa na coach ama mtu ni ngori amefanya. Sasa anauliza nani amefanya ngori gani? Nimepiga nani yeye? Nimekanyaga nani? Haikui. Akasema lakini haina na mwacha niende. So after zoezi akaende huko mzaa. Huko mzaa akamwambia kwanza Monday unacheza na senior team. Jitayarishe. Ha. <laughs> Kijana amekuja kwa tayari kujidefend vile alikuwa anapashwa atapashwa lakini ameambiwa kwanza Monday unachezea senior team. Ah ya ya. Na yeye juu akaona nikiongea sana huyu mzee anaweza change. Anaweza change mind yake anambia ni scam. Akaambia okay, see you on Monday. Na akaishia. Monday Zlatan na kakam, akaekwa senior team. Na akaanza kucheza ball. Na akaanza kufit in. Ndio ilikuwa rahisi baada akacheza kafit in. Hiyo season kwanza Malmo ikarelegatewa. Wakaenda division 2 kwa kucheza ball huko. Eh ni tena wakarudi juu. Sasa pale Zlatan nakicheza teams huko nje zikaanza kutrealize by the kuna kijana ako pale Sweden anacheza ball. I think we need to bring this boy. Guess who? Coach wa kwanza at the age of 17 akafikiria I want to bring this boy. Mnafikiria nani? Asen Wenga. Asen Wenga akapiga simu huko Malmo, akapigia Zlatan na agent wake nataka ukuje Arsenal. Lakini kwanza lazima ukuje trials. Guess <laughs> Zlatan aliambia Wenga hivi. Zlatan does not do trials. At the age of 17, aliambia wenga Zlatan does not do trials. Either unipatia job ama uishie. Ukitaka kuwa trials zangu, rudi watch videos za Malmo nikicheza. 
na huyu mtu yako 17 years anaitiwa Arsenal anyway fast forward akakataa kuja Arsenal timu ile kwenda mtaka nyingine Ajax ikakuwa ni Ajax tuende Ajax yeye huyu kijana ujue ni mtu, kijana wa ghetto tu dream yake ilikuwa kubay gari nothing else nikipata do the first thing i'll do i'll buy a car kijana akaenda Ajax manager wa Malmo amesign contract huko Ajax kijana ameingia Ajax mshahara ya kwanza <laughs> ameenda alikuwa anunua gari alikuwa anaita the Diablo car kumbe sasa ni Lamborghini kijana ameenda amebuy gari sawa <laughs> waja real ajui ametumia do yote ile alikuwa pewe amebuy gari hana chakula na hana palipa kuishi na anafaa kuchezea Ajax eh hey. hapo akiwa anakaa ni kama ako hopeless ako, ako homeless lakini akona team ya Ajax kuna kijana anaitwa Max Max alikuwa defender wa Brazil akamchukua kaza kuishi na yeye wakichezea Ajax pamoja. In fact friendship ya 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 Zlatan na Max iliendelea sana walichezea timu mingi sana pamoja. I think Inter, Barcelona, PSG walikuwa nafuatanaga. Wanaenda pamoja wanaenda pamoja. So ukijana akiwa Ajax alikuwa elewani tena na vijana wa Netherlands kwanza captain. Vada vada alikuwa anamsumbua sana. Kakuwa ni aje opportunity ikikuja wewe ishia. Hapo hapo opportunity nini ni Juventus ikakuja. We want this boy. Sawa? So, panda ndege pa Italy ehe ni 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 game imeanza huko sasa kuna jamaa kwa Fabio Capello alikuwa coach alimwambia i will bang the i will bang the Ajax out of you here you will score goals sio hiyo valo kuna fanya huko anyway ball ikashika wakaanza kushinda matrophy huko Juve lakini ushaiona na sasa tutaja Manchester United team zinapendwa na marefari Unashanga tu urefa napenda mkicheza mpaka mkifunga bao anaweza celebrate. Eh? Hasa huko juve ilikuwa hivyo. Kumbe ni manager wa team alikuwa anaenda naongea na federation. Anaambia federation bana hii game yangu inakuja nipeni huyu ref. Alafu ref anaongelesha na mbwa wewe acha juve cheze ball vizuri. Usiingilie hiki kitu. Ikakuwa scandal one day. Ilikuwa inaitwa the Calciopoli scandal if you read about it. Juventus. Mnaona by the way hii season ya 2022-23 Juventus wamenyang'anywa 15 points wakarudi sasa hiyo kwa namba 11 kwa league it happened to them back then vile sasa hiyo Carlos Poli scandal ililipuka Juve ikanyang'anywa 15 points na ikarelegatewa wakarudi show division 2 na wakaambwa season ikianza mtaanza mkiwa negative 9 points hii nikaumana ikakuwa majamaa sisi sisi ni master hatuwezi kai Juve hata hiyo ilipa vijana ikabidi Zlatan na ametoka Juve ameenda Inter Milan. Sawa. Inter Bolli kakubali pia. Ameicheza ameicheza. Lakini dream yake ni kushinda Champions League na kuchezea Barcelona. Hizo dreams zake sawa kwa kwa life. I want to win the Champions League, I want to play for Barcelona. All right? Abacheza cheza ball Inter nini? Mourinho amekuja. Mourinho ameanza ameanza ku coach Inter na yeye na Zlatan wameingiana mbaya. Zlatan anasema kama Mourinho alikuwa kama budake. Na pia Mourinho akiulizwa anasema kama Zlatan alikuwa gani kama an extension of his right hand alikuwa anamsaidia sana kubeba timu zake so now hapo tuko na Inter Milan akasema mimi nataka kwenda Barcelona majamaa let me go win the Champions League in Barcelona inasemekana it's the first time yeye na Mourinho alikuwa sana Mourinho alimwambia usitoke hii Inter Milan kabla tushinde Champions League Zlatan akamwambia pana Barcelona iko na higher chances na true to his words akaenda Barcelona kushinda Champions League guess what hiyo mwaka alienda Barcelona kushinda Champions League ile Inter Milan alitoka ya Mourinho ikashinda Champions League alafu guess what a Kenyan born Kenyan star McDonald Mariga was in that team ya Inter Milan wakishinda hiyo Champions League sasa Zlatan anashanga hii team nimekuja kufanya nini basa ndio bali lilikuwa limekubali kidogo kidogo Pep Guardiola amekuwa coach pale Barcelona Mchezaji kidogo ball ameanza kuvuruga Zlatan. Hataki kumchezesha, anamweka bench, anasema Zlatan anaingia na system yake. Ilikuwa ni maskandalo mingi sana pale Barcelona. Zlatan akaanza kwa kwa bench, acheze ball. Hadi yeye mwenyewe akiongea anasema kwamba sometimes kuna dreams zingine ufai kupasu. Mchana tunazo. Jua anasema kwamba hiyo dream yake ya kwenda Barcelona karibu ikil career yake. Ikakuwa ni hivi, Barcelona ikampea na on loan AC Milan. Sasa huko AC waja timu ishike. Waja timu ibambe wanacheza ball guess what ule manager tena kama ule just ule mwingine wa Juventus huyu sasa kwa itwa Belasconi wa AC Milan pia na yeye ananunuanga ma game a a a a a a bala wakashikwa wakarudishwa pia wao chini ai 
ikakuwa sasa pale tumefikishwa tumenyang'anywa dona kila kitu kwa sababu zimefreezwa AC Milan cannot afford this boys anymore lazima hapo jana waende Zlatan Thiago Silva au ndio alikuwa ni ma big ma big fish hiyo time sasa Zlatan what next enda PSG hasa huko PSG ndio walipataga hakuna team ni hao wameenda ku establish team na Carlo Ancelotti by the way if you read this book yeah quiet leadership Ancelotti speaks a lot about Zlatan in this book wakiwa na PSG the sense that alifikaga akamwambia you will be the leader in this team Zlatan akakata akamwambia wewe patia Thiago Silva armband mimi nataka kucheza ball okay at some point wakicheza PSG kuna game kasi Ancelotti akona feel what a lose it was against Lyon alafu Zlatan akauliza Ancelotti do you believe in god Ancelotti akasema yes Zlatan akamwambia also believe in Zlatan <laughs> i will win the game for you na kijana akaenda kwa kiwanja na akashinda hiyo game i think alifunga bao i think 156 akiwa PSG huko watu watu kusema hiyo league ilikuwa rahisi the man alikuwa na shine hivyo but still he went there and delivered big time anasema nga he went there as a king came out as a legend sasa akiwa PSG akicheza nakumbuka ule Mourinho ule alikuwa na Inter Milan alikuwa ana coach team nyingine very useless hiyo <laughs> team ilikuwa haiwezi kushinda trophy vijana hawezi kufunga mabao Mourinho akasema the only way this team will play football the way i want it is if i bring someone that has played with me before who's that zlatan you know which team that was yes manchester united <laughs> zlatan toka psg kuja manchester united patane na Mourinho hapo tucheze ball onesha vijana kufunga mabao onesha vijana kukuwa lions wanaogopa kucheza na ukweli zlatan akaingia na wakacheza ball by the way kwa pale manchester vizuri sana because i think he played 53 games and scored 29 goals na za imagine hiyo record nakaje hiyo ndo time mourinho anasema gaz zlatan alikuwa anamsaidia sana hadi kwa changing room yeye ndo alikuwa anaongelesha vijana na motivate zlatan alikuwa anambia kina lukaku na kina eh, runi funga bao nikupatie present ilikuwa hivi kadhati point ana wa coach ana wa lead all right hasa siku moja wakicheza champion eh, europa quarter final aliumiaga magoti eh, if you watch ile europa manchester ilishindaga finally zlatan kwa mapeleka mpaka quarters akaumia magoti ya akakula injury after hiyo injury zlatan alisema alipona akarudi kwa game before acheze game akambia mourinho maze mimi najua unanitegemea sana lakini kuna zlatan wawili kuna ule ulikuwa unajua before apate injury ule angefanya anything na kuna huyo amepata injury sasa hii i cannot give you what you want from me so kwa kwa heshima yako kwa heshima ya team na kila mtu mwingine usinichezeshe wacha niishie ndakuangusha una vile mtu unajua ga limit zako zlatan ali feel hapa sitaweza na by the way akikujaga premier league watu wanasema huyu ni mzee he cannot do anything but ukimsikiza anasema anga he came to the premier league and he made the premier league look old all right enu anyway, mbona kaambia ni sawa buda wewe ishia fast forward akaenda America kucheza Major League Soccer ile itakuwa MLS vile alifika US alichukua gazeti kuji introduce unaona a blank paper like this one akaandika <laughs> akaandika hapa LA Galaxy you are welcome hapa chini Zlatan sawa sawa alijua wa country ya watu first interview anasema welcome to the Zlatan sio mimi ni welcome kwa nchi yenu mimi ni welcome to me Game ya kwanza alichezeshwa aliingia game ikiwa 3-1 ile Galaxy wa Kiluz 3-1 game ilisha 4-3 influence ya Zlatan funga bao pea na assist funga heda nyingine wakashinda game 4-3 baada kukaa US sana akaanza kufikiria kuretire actually watu wasema angalia na US kama promise kama present kwa wife yake that one day ndacheza US <laughs> imefika that level in football fast forward akiwa US ikakuwa niaje utaritaya AC Milan ikamuita Buda ataka muko 40 years come we need you ndio huyo ra AC Milan AC Milan alipata team ina shake shake wakashinda nao squadetto wakashinda ligi akiwa mzee hivyo ligi ilikuwa mpaka na kina Ronaldo ehe na kina Lukaku imagine <laughs> na bado anacheza ball so far kwa career Zlatan i think amefunga almost 600 goals akona 34 trophies yeye yeah, ndio all time top goal scorer wa Sweden na Sweden haijawahi mu appreciate every day akiwachezea wanakuwa tuna scandal here they have to look for something he did not do but still he remains Zlatan
na hajawahi change vile aliamua kuishi ndio hadi leo Zaldana anakumbusha Bob Male Bob Male pia alikuwa gamrui hivyo why because watu wakawa wanaanga akiwa point jibuda yake alikuwa eh, mu UK na madhaki alikuwa mjomeka so alikuwa anakaa kijana mu white white wakati anamuita white boy walikuwa wanaona huyu too soft for life but sasa he had to become a rude boy he had to become a tough gong ndio aweze ku na watu so pia wewe kama watu wanakutatiza kwa hii dunia you know what you have to do you become a tough gong okay kuna kitabu ya zlatan naitwa i am zlatan na i am football you can read those books ongeza mawaidha hapa na pale all right more fire shut up boy unataka tuongelee nani next week hapo kwenye comments jiachilie tukisoma ule unataja tunafanya story yake au sio kumbuka subscribe share like ambia mbogi yako fanya wallipa things and that's my time more life i swear